record. Good evening, Inspire Beauty. Happy Monday. We are um, in our second week of July already and already some insane and incredible momentum. I'm just so thrilled to be witnessing it. And tonight we're talking about consistency, which I think plays really great into the momentum we're experiencing right now as a team collectively, because if you listen to Lindsay's live video today in our team page talking about what she feels like her big secret is right now, what, what's really allowing her to be successful, one of the things that she mentioned was consistency. Now, when we talk about consistency tonight, which we'll get to in a second, um, I'm not talking about consistency like I was really consistent today or I was really consistent last week. I'm talking about consistency over a long period of time, which the normal population does not want to be consistent for as long of a period of time as what I'm gonna ask you, ask of you, I guess I should say. Um, we're gonna do continuous scroll, no, we're gonna do single page. That's a better view, there we go, there it is. Okay, so tonight, all about consistency. A couple announcements before we begin. Lift for launch party prep week began today, so make sure that if you are um, plugging people into Lift for with us, please make sure that you are wrapping up those conversations, get into the free Snoop group that we created, get in there and look at who did you add in there. Maybe you lost track of some people along the way. There are a lot of people in there, over 70 people in that Snoop group, and there are definitely not 70 people in our challenge group. So go back in through that group, look at who maybe has maybe gotten lost in the mix or whatnot, and reach out to them this week because we are starting the party. July Team Challenge week one is officially over. If you are participating in July Team Challenge, remember, it is your responsibility to fill out your form and submit it each week by end of day Sunday so that I can tally all that. And that's it. I'm not tallying stuff throughout the week, you guys. I'm only going to tally it on Sunday. So if you missed last week's chance to do that, no worries. Not a big deal at all. Brush that off. And all you need to do is next week when you submit it to me, I will just tally all of it since I may be missing stuff um, from the previous week. You can either, guys, keep in mind, I do want you to send me the part where we have our daily behaviors. Those all each count as one point, and those are easy points to get doing your workout. The column that says Shakeology, or the row that says Shakeology, I want you guys to understand, and pass this along to your teammates, please, that it doesn't have to just be Shakeology. It can be any nutritional product. So if you use Energize and Recover that day and you shared about it, if you use Beach Bars that day, whatever you use as your go-to to share about in your challenge group, that can be counted as your nutrition, your Beach Body supplement, yeah? Um, and then celebrate and recognize. I'm gonna talk a little bit further on tomorrow in our leadership Zoom, but guys, celebration and recognition is so much more than I think we're giving ourselves credit for. I saw so many people not checking off boxes in that way. That does not mean you need to have a team of 75 people who are rank advancing to star diamond status to be able to recognize. I see you guys recognizing each other every single day and I don't think you're actually thinking that that's recognition. I see you go to another teammate's you know, transformation post on their personal page and you comment, oh my gosh, you are so amazing, you're so inspiring. That's celebrating. If you get into the challenge groups and you go through and you let everybody know a personal message to them about their workout and, and what you're cheering them on about, guys, that's recognition. So I think we're selling ourselves a little short when it comes to that box. I want to see more people checking off that celebration recognition box for the team challenge. So just keep that in mind, guys. I think we're being a little modest. Celebration does not mean you have to go out and make a giant graphic of everybody that rank advanced. That's, that's, that's cool too. That's awesome. But celebration can be the little things too. In fact, those little things actually go a long way. Okay, Summit 2019. Today is the last day to get the $130 ticket price. Make sure, guys, that you're telling your teammates. Tell your downline about this. Tell your spouses about this. Charlie will be going, okay? We'll have bro time. Like, there can be dudes that hang out at Summit. Like, it's okay. It's not just for girls. Um, but tell people about it and get them on board with getting to Summit. I know that some of us may be waiting for the um, transferable, refundable ticket price, and I get that. But here's the deal, and this is, this is what I – this is how I feel about that ticket price. I think – that if you right now say, 
on July 11th through 14th, I will be busy doing something important for me. And you put that in your calendar right now and you spend $130 on a ticket that will change not only your life, but your business. Okay. And then when June rolls around and someone says, Hey, by the way, on July 11th, can you, you say, Nope, I've got something in my calendar. I planned it over a year ago. Right guys. So don't, I don't, I feel like we've got that one foot in one foot out. If we're trying to do like the, Oh, I don't know. Let me see if my schedule, guys, it's, a, oh, it's over a year away from right now. What do you have going on in your schedule that you already know? So put this as the thing on your schedule, right? Beat your best in July guys. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but if you're in the July team challenge, that's kind of what we're gunning for is beating our personal best from the past year of our personal business. And if you beat your best by one success club point, you get a silver medal. If you beat it by five or more success club points, you get a, no, said that wrong. One is a bronze. Uh, the five or more is a silver medal. And if you beat it by 10 or more, you get a gold medal. And if you have personally sponsored coaches that beat their best this month, and you also, um, I believe hit success club. I don't think it's beating your best, but actually hit success club. You get a star medal. So there's lots of fun little medals uh, being given out this month to beat our best. And it's just a fun way to build momentum in our business, guys. Okay, before we dive in talking about this, I want to get a couple like, you know, those elephants in the room, those skeletons in the closet, that sort of thing. I'm going to talk about this at some point, but consistency is key. I know we hear that over and over and over again. And that phrase to me, kind of becomes white noise. Like I put, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because consistency is key. Okay. I get it. Right. But when we actually like step back and we really think about the behaviors that, you know, we, we have each and every day, we make choices all day long, right? And the behaviors, whether it's the choice to press play this morning or the choice, choice to hit snooze. Was it the choice to eat a salad at lunch that you packed for yourself or go out and eat with your people at work? Was the choice when you got home from work to kick off, kick off your shoes and Netflix and chill, or was it to work your business a little bit and get on your team Zoom, right? So we all have choices and the cons consistency, can, you can be very consistent in poor choices, right? And that can lead you down a path, maybe two, five, 10 years from now that you're like, wait a second, what was that about? but you were consistently doing poor behaviors. A lot of us found ourselves in Beachbody challenge groups or on our team because of poor choices maybe that we'd made in our life that all of a sudden rubber meets the road and we get to a place where we're like, wait a second, this isn't where I wanted to go. So consistency is key, but it can go either direction, you guys. No one has failed on our team, you guys, from being consistent. I've never seen somebody as a consistent coach. And when I say consistent, guys, again, I'm not talking a day, I'm not talking a week, I'm talking long time. I have never watched anybody on our team who's consistent in their behaviors fail in this business. I've never, I've never witnessed it. If you haven't completed a program and turned in your results for the Beachbody Challenge in the last three months or so, you're not consistent. And I love you and I mean it. But if you haven't completed a program from start to finish and then taken your before and your after side by side and submitted it to Beachbody Challenge for a free t-shirt, because guys, who doesn't want a free freaking t-shirt or tank top, right? If you haven't done that in the last three months or so, I want you to get back to consistent plugging into the calendar. These calendars are so easy for us to follow, you guys that there's no reason why we can't stay consistent with that as long as that is a priority in our season of life that we're in. We spend a lot of time and energy on behaviors that do not move us forward, okay? So I said that a little bit about consistency is key, but you could be doing behaviors that aren't moving you forward. So we wanna make sure our consistent behaviors are ones that are in alignment with our goals and where we're trying to move, okay? And everybody's goals are different and everybody's why and vision and all that is absolutely different. And I love that because this business doesn't discriminate. You can be somebody who wants financial freedom. You can be somebody who just craves community. You can be somebody who's on your self-care journey because you just never learned nutrition and fitness growing up. Or you could be somebody who you're a fit pro and you love it and you just want to be around it more and more and more. So it doesn't discriminate. I love that about this business. Okay. But the last thing is guys, you have to apply this because knowledge is not power. And they talked about this in the national wake up call. Her last little bullet point was action. You can sit here and you can be a data collector all you want and write down all the notes in the world. And I am so victim of doing that in my business for many years where I just, I was on every call and I wrote down everything and I've got notebooks upon notebooks. But until I actually applied it 
It just sat there. The knowledge just sat there. It's got to be applied action to create that power. So I love this. This struck me in my reading this last week in the self-love experiment. If you're reading it with us, this quote comes directly from that book. It says, the key to getting what you want is consistency, patience, timing, and trust. Okay? So before we even get into the pink stuff, right, <laughs> let's just look at the green part. What exactly do you want? Because first of all, if you don't know what you really want, like, do you want to run a challenge group? Do you want to build a team? Do you want financial freedom? Do you want to get healthier? Do you want to be happier? Do you want to work on an area of your life where maybe you've allowed yourself to kind of just exist for far too long, right? What do you want? And it's different for everybody. But the thing is, you've got to get crystal clear on that because until you do, you won't know what consistent actions you've got to take. You're never going to have patience. Timing wise, it's going to be all over the place because you're going to be back and forth all the time. And what the heck do you even have to trust in if you don't even know what you want and you don't have that laid out in front of you? You can't even believe in what you're going towards or have hope for it, right? So, first and foremost, I'm encouraging you guys get crystal clear on what exactly you want. And that's, again, different for everyone. And the list can be exhaustive. It does not have to be like, I want to hit SC5. Okay, I did it, Brittany. Exercise done. Like, no, I want you to go deeper than that. Peel back. Okay, yeah, you want SC5. Now what do you want? What else do you want? So you hit SC5. Then what do you want? Then what do you want? Then what do you want? And keep getting deeper on what you really want. These are things I've said in my life, whether out loud or just to myself in my own little brain. Um, but these are all lies that I've told myself that are exactly pulled from that quote. So I, I've said for a long time, I'm just not good at being consistent. Or I love this one. I've never been a patient person. Like, I'm just not a patient person. That's just not how I was made. Like, I want things right now. That's how God made me, right? <laughs> no, I can learn patience. I like things to happen when I say they should. I love to control my success. Guys, this has been a major barrier for me in my journey as a coach because I love having control. I love controlling things. And you know what? As a coach, I hope you are learning this and I hope you're embracing this, that you have no control over what other people do. You don't have control over whether Susie says she wants to join your challenge group. You don't have control whether your dad, you know, returns his Shakeology and says that's a scam. You don't have control over any of that stuff. Whether your challengers decide to plug into the app today, you don't have control over that. But you can control what you can control, right? But I used to lie to myself and just say, like, I love control. I'll just control this, right? I'll take care of it. I'll control it. I also came into this business with a lot of trust issues, meaning, like, um, I'm that I'll do it myself person. Like instead of learning to trust others because that's too hard, I'll just rely on myself and do it myself. And those behaviors are all lies. And they're behaviors which you can grow and mature in. And I'm telling you this humbly because I am growing, maturing in all of these areas and have been growing in these areas since I became a coach. But the thing is you have to be willing to put in the work and you have to do those ego gut checks sometimes where you're like, yeah, that's totally an ugly quality about me that I should probably work on, right? And I do that all the time where I'm like, ooh, that just doesn't feel good to like have to say about myself, but it's true. And so if you found yourself saying things like this, you guys, get over those lies because they're going to hold you back in being consistent and having the patience to um, pursue something that is maybe bigger than anything you've ever pursued before, um, allowing yourself to just kind of let go of that controller mindset and also learning how to trust not just in others but in yourself and in the process right i love that everyone's diving into the 15 video 15 um part video series of the prize is the process because that's like that's what this is like the patience and the trust and learning how to let go a little it's all happening in the process so i hope you're really enjoying those so in terms of consistency, guys, sometimes, and I have attracted a tribe of people that are very much like me, which is a good thing because you have some of my greatest qualities, but <laughs> it's also not such a good thing because sometimes you have some of my not so great qualities because your vibe attracts your tribe, right? And something that happens to me quite frequently is I am very much like project and creative um, 
minded, meaning like I'll start and I'll sit down at my desk to work and I'm like, okay, I need to send out these invites. And then all of a sudden like ding, shiny object squirrel. And I'm over here and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to like repaint my kitchen. And all of a sudden I'm repainting my kitchen and I'm like, wait a second, why am I not sending out invites? Like, why am I repainting my kitchen right now? And the thing is I get these like crazy ideas and I want to do them. So I've had to like take it back in my business and guys, I'm going to show you in a second, but on my schedule of my day, I give myself project time and I'm not allowed to work on projects unless it's project time because I love projects and I would sit here all stinking day and be a project coach, but I wouldn't invite anybody and I wouldn't do my workout and I wouldn't commit to my shake or anything like that because I'd be so focused on projects. So we're going to take it back to the basics when it comes to consistency, because I think sometimes maybe we're consistent, but consistent in things that aren't necessarily driving our business or our self care forward. So first of all, easy, follow a workout from start to finish. And I say easy, I mean simple. It's not necessarily easy because it's very easy not to do that as well, but it's a simple task, right? Print off that calendar, commit to doing lift four. We start next week, right? Do something like that and, and do it. Follow a meal plan. I've been so lax in this area. And I am, I even asked my challengers, like, please hold me accountable to this this week. And I, I got out my, um, to be mindset tracker book. And I wrote down, you know, everything for the week. And today I spent the whole day making sure I was tracking it. Now for lift four, that stuff is container based, right? Not to be mindset, like portion based, how, how they do like the plating, but it's the containers. And so I got out my crayons and I, here we go projects, right? Like I totally did a project, but it was during my project time. It was okay. But what I did is I, I wrote out all my nutrition because I need to get back to the basics with that. I need to get back to, okay, this is one yellow container. This is one red container. And, and, and I'm doing this because I want to show others that it's possible. And it's not hard, right? It just takes that consistent focus. Um, check in, being basic, getting back to checking into your challenge group for accountability. I was going through my 80 day obsession group today and reaching out to participants and coaches in that group. And man, there's so many that just have fallen off the wagon and it's okay that happens to us all but get back to the basics check in daily put a spot in your time uh, in your day whether it's you know I'm gonna spend these five minutes checking in every day right when I finish my workout or I know like Natalie she says she does it at in the evenings when she's winding down for the night whatever works best for you but make sure that that's like a set thing in your schedule every day um, I'm going to show you my weekly schedule here in a second that breaks down my time slots so you can get an idea of how I do that. Be a presence in your team page. Don't just be present in your team page. Be a presence. Right now as you're on the Zoom, I bet everyone here can think of somebody who is a presence beyond, besides me, not me, but somebody else who is a presence on Inspire Beauty. We can, I'm sure we could all rattle off a name right now. And the reason that we know they're a presence on our team page is they're in there posting. They share inspiration. Maybe they shout somebody out. Maybe they ask questions. They're also in there commenting and engaging on other people's posts, not just mine, but everybody who goes into that page, right? Be a presence in your team page. Post twice per day. That's all you need to do and get on that story and share what's going on in your life. Okay. And use your vitals as inspiration. If you're like, I don't know what to post about today, your vitals, your workout, your nutrition, your, um, your team, your new challenge group that's coming up, your personal development, that can be your inspiration, okay? Get back to the basics. It doesn't have to be this like crazy post every single time you do it. Celebrate others who you see rocking it. Even a simple you rock count. Get back to the basics, okay? Find an area where you can grow and read a book on that subject. Create a list of people you'd love to do this with and talk to them. Show up for more than just a day, a week, or a month. Guys, be here in a year. And that's why I was talking about, I feel like when you don't, purchase the 130 ticket and you're thinking, I'll just get the one that's transferable. Instead, you don't have the intention of being here in a year. You don't. You, I mean, and I, I don't love to say that because I don't think that that's truly your heart. But if you were committed, 150% committed to being here in a year, you would say, I'm buying that ticket because I'm going to be here right? I'm not going anywhere. I love Christina Delgado at Summit. She got the CEO award this year. Uh, she is a Miami based coach and she's just phenomenal, but a heart of gold. Um, but she was joking on stage at Summit that, you know, we're all going to be in our wheelchairs still running challenge groups. And I love that because that just shows she's not going anywhere, right? I'm not going anywhere. I am going to do this until I am old and gray. Okay. 
So let's break it down. This is what consistency looks like in my life. And I will kind of walk you through. So my first hour of my day is waking up in my devotional and just kind of some me time. Then the next hour I devote to my workout and posting my very first post of the day and getting my Instagram story set up. Okay. Pink is me. You guys purple is like business, like moving my business forward and blue is business, but like all my, all my little, um, bells and whistles, all my accoutrement, if you will. So working out, posting the Instagram story, expanding, connect. So then I, I get ready, breakfast, all that good stuff. This looks different like on a Monday when there's a national wake up call that's plugged in there, like team zoom, stuff like that. Right? So this looks different depending on the day, but in general, this is what it looks like expanding and connecting, inviting and following up and cleaning out my inbox. Okay. Then we've got our Inspire Beauty Power Hour every Monday through Thursday. So I have that blocked off here. And usually during that time, because I end up, uh, I hopefully at that point have all of my things taken care of for the day. During that time, I can do things like checking into my challenge group or um, checking in on the team page or creating content for things, right? Uh, this is, I take a break and I unplug. Then I check in with customers and coaches. I try to shoot out one-on-one -on -one messages during this time. If I need to get back in my inbox and clear anything else out, that's during this time. And then I give myself some project time before I unplug for the evening. This is what my day looks like every day, except the weekends. The weekends are a little um, more compact than this. Okay. But Monday through Friday, this is what you're seeing from me. Okay. I live a really, really exciting life, you guys. <laughs> this is so sexy, isn't it? It's like really sexy. Like, oh my gosh, Brittany, what do you do all day? This. This is what I do all day, you guys. Okay. But let's break it down even further. This is what consistency does. You guys, last July, I pulled this up. I love this. Last July, here was me talking about summer of me because I ran a summer of me last year. And um, look at how many likes I had on Instagram. 14 likes. Look at how many comments. None. Zero comments. That was a year ago. Okay? And guys, that was a year ago, but I also want to put that in perspective for you. That was three and a half years into the business for me. And I was sitting at 14 likes and no comments. Okay. Here I am four and a half years into the business and I had 108 likes. And I think this had like 14 comments on it. You guys, and it's not about numbers in terms of like, Oh, I, I must be more popular because I have more likes or I must, people must love me more. or I must like be so famous. It's not about that, but I'm just showing you like when I show up every single day, maybe you know, if I showed you July, 2017 and August, 2017, you might not see such a big spread, but a year later, there's a huge difference in what consistency can do. Okay. Here's some more examples. And these are very tangible business examples. You guys in June of last year, one person on our team was a business starter. And that was me in June of 2018. We had three coaches who were business starters that month. There were no coaches in the success starter program in June of 2017. And currently in June of 2018, we had two coaches in the success starter program, meaning they are getting started as coaches, inviting to challenge groups and doing business behaviors right off the bat in their first three months in the business. Okay. Last year in June of 2017, we had one coach on the SC leaderboard and this year we had four coaches at SC 10 plus and seven coaches altogether on the leaderboard. I rarely tell you guys how much I make. And so this, I, I'm going to tell you right now, this made me really nervous to do because sometimes, and I'm going to be serious for a second. Like I get really, um, mad at myself sometimes about income because like in this business, it can fluctuate, but you know, in my head, I'm like, I should be earning like, $10 million this week, right? <laughs> like buy a mansion. No, but, um, a year ago, you guys, I earned in the whole month of June, about a little over $700, 700 plus in the entire month of June, I earned 2000 plus that's over 200% difference, right? Like that's over double. Like I doubled my income in a year in the month. Right. And if I were to show another year later, like that might, if I continue my um, consistency, that progression can change. So for those of you who are looking at, you know, trying to make this into a business or earn a nice chump, 
of change, right? Like that you just want some money on the side, maybe to, to live out some dreams or to be able to travel or whatever it is for you. It's so possible, but consistency. Last year, I was very proud of what I earned. This year, I'm very proud of what I earned. Next year, even prouder. And I, I get excited because I get to give that back to my family, my future family, and I get to get us out of debt. And we talk and joke, like I can't wait for the day where I take one of my weekly paychecks and I just wipe off Charlie's school student loan debt. I can't wait for that day. I can't freaking wait for that day. It's gonna happen. Um, and so that's what this business is for me. That's one of my big whys, right? Is to, to get us out of that debt and to pave a different way for my children. Approximately 49 challengers last year were in June challenge groups and approximately 74 challengers. Now there is some overlap. That's why I said approximately because there are some people who are like double dipped in different challenge groups, but this is approximately, and these are just the ones that I am an admin of. This is not to say anyone else's groups that they're running, you know, on their own as well. Pretty incredible. Four coaches in June, well, it really was July last year, but four coaches last year attended Summit. This year, 10 coaches attended Summit, and we're already um, only a month out, and we've already got 10 coaches on our roster for Summit next year, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Okay. Reason over results. Guys, give me 2.5 seconds. Totally put my... Um, casserole in the oven <laughs> to reheat and I think it was burning so I wanted to turn off the oven real life okay reason over results you guys this was something that she talked about in the book in the place where she's talking about consistency and so oftentimes we look to results to see if we're on track that is very normal that's very human right I'm sure if we surveyed all of you guys would say yes I like to look at results to see if I am going this way or this way, right? And that's exactly what I showed you here and here. I gave you some results. Like this is, this is some number data for you of like how the consistency is helping to build um, my business and the businesses of those on our team. Results definitely keep us, that should say us, motivated. And therefore we keep going, right? Like our challenger, the classic challenger that's like, oh, I'm losing weight, so I'm gonna keep going. Or the challenger that's like, I got on the scale and I gained weight, so I'm done. That, and that's the thing. What happens when you don't see results? Okay. If we don't have reasons, if we don't have reasons for why we're doing this, reasons why we want to be consistent, then when we don't see results in our business, like last year when I had three and a half years of, of time in the business and yet a post on, only got 14 likes and no comments, and I only had four coaches at Summit, and I only had, um, you know, $700 to my name for the month. I could have quit. But my reason for staying consistent and waking up tomorrow and saying, wash, rinse, repeat, Britt, get back onto that schedule, Britt, wake up and do your workout, Britt, post about it, Britt, show up to this, Britt, show up to that, Britt, do this, invite them. When I know my reason, it's so much easier to stay consistent even when I don't see the results. So don't get distracted by the what is. We, are, we live in a society of like, show me now, give it to me now, I want this now. But it doesn't work like that. And if we get so distracted by the what is today, then we're never gonna ever find out the what might be. So focus on that, focus on the what might be. Focus on what you want. That's why I have my vision board every day right here in front of me. And this morning, I've been working ever since listening to the, um, the morning, the Miracle Morning one um, in the Prizes the Process series. You know, I had to kind of reevaluate, like, am I actually envisioning what I want every morning? Not even just what I want in a year or what I want five years from now, but what I want my day to look like today, you know? I think we get stuck in a rat race sometimes where we just go from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. And we forget that, um, we forget that every single little choice can either take us towards that goal or away from that goal. And so keeping that reason why you're working so hard is so important. Keeping that at the forefront because this business, you guys does not follow a straight path, just like our weight loss journey or our self care journey or anything like that. It doesn't follow a straight path. We don't just go like, yep, I'm losing weight. I'm great. I'm getting abs. No, I am like up and down all the time. Um, and not yo-yoing at all, but just 
there's an ebb and a flow to it, right? And the business is the same. That's why I love this business so much because it really does parallel our fitness journey to a T. Um, and I love that. So every time that I kind of get distracted in my business about results and I'm results driven, I can say, wait a second, let me parallel this. Let me equate this to how I would respond to somebody in their fitness journey. And I, I make sure that I'm paralleling those because I think that they, you know, it, it makes it easier for me in my head to be like, okay, this, this doesn't happen overnight just because what is today doesn't mean that's what it's always going to be. And as long as you're doing the right behaviors, the results are going to follow, right? So call to action, guys, is to write out your work blocks. Like I challenge you, the Google Calendar was really simple for me to do this in. Um, and it just, it's, su it's super easy for me to like look at in my phone. I don't actually do that in my planner. In my planner, I just do like major things that I need to make sure I'm, I'm on time for during the week. But all of these like simple things and like really trying to use every minute of time towards what I really want, right? So committing to that. So write out your work box, you guys, for the remainder of this week, Tuesday through Sunday. Okay. And then commit to them and commit to that consistent action. So if in your work block, like for example, I wrote like, uh, you know, from 6 30 AM to 7 30 AM is when I work out and post to IG stories. Um, I'm committing to that consistent action during that time and share about it in the team page each day for accountability. Like I committed from 9 AM to 10 AM that I would do, you know, a quick power hour in that pocket of time. And then tell us, hey, I did it today. Like, I'm so proud of myself, right? So commit to that. I think that, you know, again, it's really easy to do this Monday through Sunday. But next week on Monday, when a new week starts, a new life happens and, and all that stuff, or, or we change seasons of life, or we go on vacation, or whatever gets in the way, that's when, you know, you really have to go back to this. Like I said, it's not just knowledge, but it's knowledge and action is the power. So continuing to take action on it beyond just this week. But for right now, I'd love to see you guys write out work blocks for the remainder of the week, no matter how big or small you've got them, no shame in any size, right? Um, and then share about it each day. That's all. Oh my gosh. There's so many of you. I clicked out. Dang. Um, so many nice spaces. Any questions, guys? Comments? Live Q&A. Go for it. We got like seven minutes. I like your shirt, Lindsay. Mm-hmm. It's pretty sweaty right now. I keep putting mine in the dryer and then I'm like, oh, don't put it in the dryer, but. Yeah, yeah. So Ethan washed and dried it and it still looks sparkly. So yeah, that's mine. a win. So it's good. Lindsay, I loved your video today. So thanks for sharing. Thanks. It was really scary. <laughs> I hope that you guys got some value out of it. I feel like I'm still learning so much from everybody. So I felt a little out of place, like giving advice when I'm still doing so much learning, but thanks. Your advice was spot on. It was great. Cool. My favorite part is that you're alive and well and on the Zoom to still talk about it. Like you didn't die doing a Facebook Live. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> and check it out. Look, these are my little ones. They're watching Paw Patrol before bed. <laughs> it's my mom hack. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Any questions, guys? Anything? Nothing? No questions, but, you know, I've been posting and doing a lot of stuff for like two weeks now, and I was talking to Natalie a little bit about this, I was like, I've sent out so many things, and no one responds, like, I, like, we talk about ghosting, and I'm, just, I'm ghosting all over the place, like, I, I send them this free workout, and I check back in with them, no response, and it's happened like 60 times, so I just know that 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 comes with the process and the timing and just staying consistent will build people's trust in me and what I'm doing and what? it'll get better. Hopefully. Yeah. And it's so normal. Like we're all sitting here shaking our heads when you see that. 
I, like I told Natalie today on, on a Zoom that I sent out 40, like 40 one-on-one -on -one follow ups, like very personalized, not just a, a you know, a script. And last, this was last night and nothing. And I think part of it, you guys have to remember that it is summer. A lot of people are just like out to lunch and they're vacationing and they're this and they're that. So keep that in mind. Um, but that's why personal development, you guys, is so huge. Because you have to build that like heart of armor and not take things personally when people ghost you or don't talk to you and just keep showing up because of that reason that you're going to write out as well tonight. Yeah. So important. Anything else, ladies? I didn't check if there's chat, but I don't think there was. No. All right. Well, let's snap a pic. I think mine hair is totally burned, but that's okay. You guys are worth it. <laughs> Charlie, on the other hand, might not be happy about that. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. All right, let me get this ready. Oh, Natalie's getting in like sassy position. Okay, all right. <laughs> Look at, oh, okay, we're gonna get everybody, the whole family. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, so. Yay, okay. Thanks ladies for hopping on. If you have any questions, please reach out and I can't wait to see your schedules and your reasons. Have a good night, guys. Bye.